Hey guys, so we're back again here taking you through the elements involved in exposure, you know, in photography. And um, today we're going to focus on aperture, run you through aperture, explain to you what it is, um, what it does and what effects you can create in your images with that. So how does aperture actually work? Well, the aperture um, refers to the opening of your lens um, and that's effectively controlled by a set of blades called the iris diaphragm inside every lens. Now, these blades can open or close, um, allowing more or less light to pass through your lens and eventually reach your sensor. Um, and whether they're open or closed has different effects on your you know, eventual image and the composition thereof, but it's also an element in controlling exposure as we've discussed in previous videos. What I'm going to do is just sort of show you, you know, how this actually works and um, yeah, just take you through some of, the, some of the details. As a subject matter for today, I'm going to use this strange sculpture over here. It'll make a good model because it won't move, which is, which is handy, you know. So sometimes aperture can be a little bit confusing. Um, the reason for this is aperture is denoted by a series of numbers and generally it's referred to as an f-stop um, and they can range from anything from generally 1.2 up to about 32. Now mostly you'd think that the higher the number the bigger the opening, the more light is allowed through your camera, but this is actually not true. In photography with cameras, the smaller the number, the wider the aperture opening is. Um, and this is because aperture is basically a, a function of a, of a fraction. And even though on most cameras, as you'll see on this Fuji over here, they're denoted by solid numbers, so 2, 2.8, 4, um, 5.6 and mostly people will also speak like that and say you know um, my lens is at f2.8 or f4 or something like that it's not technically correct and it's actually um, would be 1 over 2.8 1 over 4 so how it basically works is um, if your lens is set to f4 um, it's set to a quarter if it's um, set to 16, it's 1 over 16, and that is the amount of light that actually passes through it and reaches your sensor. In addition to being a function of your exposure, um, aperture also has another very crucial effect on um, your general image composition, um, and that is depth of field control. So what is depth of field? Well, depth of field is essentially the area in which you have focus within your frame. Now, aperture controls depth of field um, via the amount of light that it allows through. So um, the lower your f-stop number, the more light is allowed through, um, and that allows you to narrow your field of focus. Um, the converse is also true. The higher your f-stop number, so the less light is allowed through, um, the deeper your field of focus is going to be. So let me show you that in a couple of pictures here. So what I'm gonna do first is um, shoot this beautiful model over here um, at f2 just to give you an idea of the effect that that'll give you. Okay, so in that image you just saw, um, you'll see that your background is completely blurred out. Um, you have almost no detail in there, but your um, subject matter is in perfect focus and that really allows you to separate your subject from the background. Very handy if, like in the scene here, you have quite a busy background. I mean, there's, you know, swings over there and people walking and just like a whole park scene. Um, but it really allows your subject to stand out from the background. Now, if you push it the other way um, and you go for maximum um, f-stop, which on this lens is f16, you'll get a completely different effect where your whole background will be um, a lot more in focus than what you have in the other one. So, let's have a look. So in that image, um, as you can see, the, there's a lot more detail in your background. Um, now, this feature is quite handy if you are a landscape photographer and you really want that depth into your image. Um, and you know, you really wanna see detail throughout. In a scene like this, as you can tell, I mean, it doesn't really work. The background is way too busy for it. Um, but in some instances, that effect would be absolutely perfect. Well guys, that wraps up this little video on aperture and the effects that that can have on your exposure and composition of images. If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to drop us a like um, or a comment if there's anything you'd like to know. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.